Okay, guys, we're back with Charlie, and we're going to do a Brodex BR3 LS3 versus the Dart Pro 1 to 80. Heads up, head to head, and uh, we're going to pick a winner for that 400 cubic inch nitrous motor. We're going to take a look at this. Now, this is the BR3, which comes with a 275cc port, a 71cc chamber, which is a little bigger than the Dart 68cc chamber, but the Dart's got a little bit bigger port. Now, for just S and Gs, I measured how wide the bowl is. The BR3s have a deep, a wider bowl. Okay, Charlie did a great job porting. You can see he went over the whole thing with a uh, a carbide and then sand rolled the whole thing uh, he did a really nice job and uh, this already came with CNC chambers so he didn't change it one of the things I did notice about the chambers is the BR3 has this brought in quite a bit versus this okay now remember this side as we're as the pistons coming up and it's pushing exhaust out is actually going to the wrong side of the exhaust port. Okay, because it's got, got to go around the short side and out. You want this closed up a little bit more, which is exactly what we have here. And you'll notice when we uh, do the exhaust, how much different they work. Another thing is how big these pads are. So this has a little bit less of an angle than the dart, okay? Notice how, how wide this is here versus how wide it is here. Same thing as far as the, the intake pad. Okay. So that makes a difference on our pressure recovery on our intake. As far as our liquid, looks damn good. It goes all the way down the port. We've got a little bit of speckle action here, not bad. A couple little drips along here, not bad. Uh, the intake valve actually looks really good. You can see we've got dicum coverage almost 90 degrees on this valve. That's, that's fantastic. Let's see how it looks in the bore. Okay, taken at 750, it has practically zero swirl. And you can tell it has practically zero swirl by the angle of that dicum. Okay, take a look right down at its throat. You can see that how far back that dicum goes. It does have the boss that enters the port for the valve spring. Can't really take that out, guys. It'll weaken the head too much. It's not that big a restriction. But notice how they did it on the dart. Okay, on that left-hand side, that dart has an extra 100,000 clearance. Now, the way the BR3 is, on the right side of that port, it's taller than the dart. Okay, I did notice that the BR3 has a taller short side. It's about 40,000 taller than the dart. It also has more of a point to it, as in Darren's hypercritical uh, short side. And it works better. So, we need to move on to our flow numbers. Okay, guys. We're going to take the BR3 and the Dart. This is the one with the uh, 60 grit. Okay, so it's kind of apples to apples, but different manufacturers. How did we do? Well, these plus and minuses are in reference to these. Plus, 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 we did have a little bit of noise. I don't remember if we had noise here because we didn't mark it. We had noise all the way down at 400. So we had a little spot of noise here, but we still had pluses. Plus, 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 plus. Absolutely dominates through the entire curve. Some of these are huge. 247 to 265. Tremendous, okay? Even at 300, 230, 2.6, 214. Tremendous difference. We use the identical valves, guys. So valves are not part of the equation. It's strictly the port architecture, the short side architecture. Uh, no question that this is 
more like what we want to see for something that's going to spin 7,500 and then get hit with nitrous. Uh, we did a 750 because it's going to be 750 lift cam. We got 372 and 33 uh, RPM of swirl. Notice the swirl curve is almost non-existent. Now, I know the drag race guys like that. They don't want to waste any energy on swirl. They want to use that energy to fill the cylinder. So on this application, we're not going to sweat it. We've got a decent amount of cubes, got tons of RPM. Uh, it'll work. As far as our air speeds, I guess we can compare our air speeds from one to the other. Okay, this sheet is the dart. These numbers here are the BR3. These pluses and minuses are in reference to these. Plus, plus, equal. We're moving more air, so our pinch is going to be faster. We have a little bit more of a discrepancy across the roof, but we're also moving more air. And our short side is actually quite even. Uh, similar to this, but a little bit faster. Okay, now it does have more of a point to the short side. It's not quite as laid back as much as the dart, but it moves more air, so I'm going to take that as a win. Okay, I want to show you guys the exhaust port. Charlie did a great job. These are absolutely beautiful and uh, work really well. We're going to show you that in a minute. Okay, you can see the BR3 uses a radius under the 45, and Charlie blended it right in with the cartridge roll. Looks fantastic. Okay, you can see what a nice job Charlie did. It's a different shape exhaust port. It's more of a D shape. And uh, when I first saw it, I said, I got a feeling the D shape is really going to work well on this because the dark design was a little dead at the floor of the exhaust. Okay, the dart is more of an oval. Okay, well that oval isn't really helping. You're better off raising that floor a bit. And it worked really good well on the BR3s. Okay, here is our dart. Air flows. This is our BR3. These pluses and minuses are in reference to this. All of the information for the engine and car are the same for both. The customer actually bought two sets of heads to compare them for this engine. My kind of guy. Okay, we're, we're laughing here. We're having a good time. So these pluses and minuses are in reference to the dart. We got a minus. We got a plus. We got a little bit of noise in here. We got a minus. And it absolutely dominates all the way down. Okay. Uh, huge pickups, guys. Huge. Okay, 214 to 230. At 750, we're at 227. Seven, at 750 here, we're at 241.6. Here we're 252 with a pipe, 272 with a pipe. That's 20 CFM. It's a nitrous motor. It's going to need some exhaust port. This is definitely a winner. Let's take a look at our airspeeds. Okay, now this is our LS3. Dart BR3. If you look at the air speeds overall, you see lots of minuses, but we're moving way more air. Now it has to do with the size of the exhaust port and the shape of the exhaust port. Notice how low the air speeds are in the center and the floor. We don't have that issue on the BR3. Okay, as far as side to side, pretty even. These are pretty even too, but they're much faster. And the center here, completely even, 300, 300, can't beat that. Okay, we're slower here, but we're moving more air. Okay, that's showing us that the port has better efficiency. We're a little bit slower in this corner. We're faster here, because this dead spot doesn't do anything but hurt you. You get reversion that way. And we're a little bit slower here, and it works way better. It's a winner. All right, guys. So we're going to uh, we're going to crown this BR3 our winner for this LS3 nitrous motor. And uh, how was your experience today, 
with me, uh, Charlie. Very good. Very positive. <laughs> All righty. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Have a good night.